Bat by D. H. Lawrence. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. At evening, sitting on this terrace, when the sun from the west beyond Pisa, beyond the mountains of Carrera, departs, and the world is taken by surprise, when the tired flower of Florence is in gloom beneath the flowing brown hills surrounding, when under the arches of the Ponte Vecchio a green light enters against stream, flush from the west, against the current of obscure Arno. Look up, and you see things flying between the day and the night, swallows with spools of dark thread sewing the shadows together. A circle swoop, and a quick parabola under the bridge arches, where light pushes through. A sudden turning upon itself of a thing in the air. A dip to the water. And you think, the swallows are flying so late. Swallows? Dark air life looping, yet missing the pure loop. A twitch, a twitter an elastic shudder in flight, and serrated wings against the sky, like a glove, a black glove thrown up at the light, and falling back. Never swallows. Bats! The swallows are gone. At a wavering instant the swallows gave way to bats by the Ponte Vecchio, changing guard. Bats and an uneasy creeping in one scalp as the bats swoop overhead, flying madly. Pipistrello, black piper on an infinitesimal pipe, little lumps that fly in air and have voices indefinite, wildly vindictive, wings like bits of umbrella. Bats, creatures that hang themselves up like an old rag to sleep and disgustingly upside down, hanging upside down like rows of disgusting old rags, and grinning in their sleep. Bats! Not for me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.